Welcome to the DataVits channel where we start all the coolest trends in displaying vintage technology. And today I'm starting a trend where it's kind of like a car show where you drive into the car show and all the cars have their hoods up so you can look inside and see the engines. In my case, I'm going to start a convention where everybody brings their portable CD player and leaves the lid open so that you can see the CDs inside. But before I do that, I'm just going to make this video for you today and kind of uh, introduce you to why I have all of these portable CD players here. Obviously, I love portable gadgets and portable music players, portable video players, and uh, I'm going to highlight two specifically in this video today. But uh, let's go through the roundup here on the different models that I'm displaying here. This is a more recent Sony Walkman. This is a model D-EJ721, which works great. The thing I like about this portable CD player is it has a optical digital audio output there on the side, as well as a remote control capability. Next in the roundup here is the Imation Rip Go. This unit was made in the year 2001, and it is a MP3 CDR recordable system as well as a playback system of MP3 files. So it's really a CD burner as well as a player, and it uses specifically the eight centimeter or three inch compact discs. Right over here, we have the Video Now system, which I have displayed on my channel before. And this particular unit also plays the three inch CDs, proprietary video CDs for its uh, playback purposes on a very horrifying black and white screen. You can look at that more in detail on my channel. Over here, we have the Car Disc Man. And this particular model is a D180K has two Velcro strips here on the side that would mount it to a plate inside your car and keep the unit stabilized. That prevented uh, skippage that could occur. Later, we had uh, buffering for the memory so that you didn't need such a strange springy platform to play CDs in the car. This particular unit here, this is a D34 Sony Discman. And although this particular unit wasn't my first, this particular model, was my first portable CD player that I bought as a young man and uh, managed to run across another one and have kept it in my collection for posterity. Here we have the second in the two we're gonna highlight feature-wise today, and this is the Panasonic Portable Video CD Player. It's a model SLVP57. This unit plays video CDs, compact discs, as well as CD plus G graphic discs. So that's your karaoke CD. So this has quite, it's quite a powerhouse of uh, entertainment playback here. And we'll get into this one more in detail. So let's get started as we look at the Imation Rip Go and the Panasonic Portable VCD player up close. Before we get into the uniqueness of these two particular players, the Imation Rip Go and the Panasonic Portable VCD, wanted to show you some of the media that you might find to play on these units. So this is a CD plus G, CD plus graphics CD, which has karaoke accompaniment music on it with the words that appear on the screen. Now recently I reviewed a Lone Star cassette machine that also plays music as well as puts lyrics on screen so that you can sing along. I've also done a review of another CD Plus G player that was specifically designed for karaoke. Now this one, the Panasonic is not gonna have a mic input on it. But in any case, you can find great items like this at the local Goodwill store or on eBay. And I think that's where I found this one is at uh, Goodwill. For VCDs, uh, I don't want you to be confused with CDV. Now this is a CDV. A CDV happens to be a video disc playable in a video disc player known as a laser disc player. This CD video contains audio, about 20 minutes of audio in this section of the disc, and then analog video in this section of the disc. And it's actually pretty good video as opposed to the quality on a video CD, which is MPEG-1 and is very low quality 
compared to MPEG-2, which is DVD quality, and whatever this would be because this is analog, but uh, I guess you would just call this Laserdisc quality, so right around 500 lines of resolution. But a vi video CD is different than a CD video, and video CD was very popular in Asia, and you could find uh, great titles like this one that's pretending to be a Disney title of uh, Jungle Boy, known as Jungle Book, the generic version, and then uh, this one who actually is called Aladdin. So the, uh, the attempt was to fool the old grandmas in Asia to buying these for their children, thinking that these were actually Disney titles, but they're not. The next kind of format I wanted to introduce to you, if you've never seen before, is a three inch CD single. So with 3D uh, CD th singles back in the 80s, you could buy singles of your favorite songs on CD, and it would typically have one or two, maybe four tracks at the most, but it, it was designed to be the modern version of the 45 RPM record. So you could buy this disc by Michael Jackson here, and it has Dirty Diana on track one and Dirty Diana the instrumental on track two. These were not cheap. These were expensive CDs. I remember when I was a youngster looking at these and wanting to buy them, but they were just too highly priced. I could not afford them. These I found at an antique mall. Here's a George Michael one as well. Same uh, record company, CBS introduced it. This came out in 1987. And then you had uh, companies like Rhino that would come out with older, uh, older music, so in this case like 50s music, the Ventures, maybe 60s music, I guess that's what this is, uh, and this would be a little four track EP, you might call it, uh, but again in the three inch format, and lastly here is the Beach Boys in that same format. Inside, included with these, is an adapter. So this ring you would put around the disc kind of like 45s had an adapter, but this one would have an adapter that would allow you to play this in machines that did not have the extra uh, inlet in the center for the, uh, for the smaller disc. So most drawer loading CD players have a, a little uh, special place in it for a three inch CD. I have a cool pocket CDR from Memorex that I put together. This is an actual CD formatted disc that I'll use to demonstrate some music playback on the RIPGO. So now let's get into the hardware. What is an iMation RIPGO? Well, an iMation RIPGO is a portable CD burner as well as a portable MP3 player that plays three inch compact discs as well as three inch CDRs that you could burn yourself using this actual unit. If you look on the back, you'll see that there is a power input here for a six volt power supply, as well as a funky USB connection right there. And I was able to find the proprietary connector and connect it to my computer, but my computer was not happy at all about it. It kept telling me that it couldn't detect what this unit is. So either there's a problem or it was specifically designed for say Windows 98 or Windows 95 or Windows 2000 or something. And it simply would not detect what this unit is. So I wasn't able to actually burn a disc on it. Uh, here's some kind of the, uh, the technical specs on the back of it here. If you wanted to take a look at that, it still has the original warranty seal on it, has not been taken off and as well as a reset button right there. A little warning about the laser inside that is extremely dangerous. It could like, you know, rip the top of your house off. So whatever you do, be careful. It has a rechargeable battery, which insanely actually still works. So you push both of those little tabs in and out comes the little proprietary battery. It's a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. It still holds a charge. What I have noticed is that it doesn't have as much oomph as it probably did back in the day because some discs, this unit won't read unless I have the external power supply hooked up. So for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and hook that power supply up. Uh, line out as well as a headphone jack uh, selector switch. So 
changes the uh, line voltage, I suppose, on the output. That output is on the front of all places, right there in the front. And then over here on the side, we have the eject button there. And you can see inside it has a nice metallic uh, metal base in there. It actually is metal, I believe. The display on the front is kind of cool. It is backlit, so when you turn it on, it will uh, go through a little uh, boot up process there. So to see that, let's go ahead and put in a disc. I'll put in my, uh, eh, let's throw in the Beach Boys here, the three inch CD single. We'll see how that works. Close that up. Hit your play button there. Yep, I must have had that lock button on. Here it goes. So you can see it says iMation. Yep, that's a whole button. It's even telling me at that point. All right, so it says rip go, scan. That salse right there on the far right of the screen, that is the EQ setting for it. And I can change that EQ setting by hitting this little musical note. See there, normal, pop, rock, classical, jazz, tech, all right. Over here on the left, it shows root directory. So I can hit the right key here, the right arrow key. It shows me that there are three tracks on there and I can skip to the next track simply by hitting, uh, what do I got to hit? I guess I got to hit the minus and the plus buttons here. So that'll take me down through the tracks and I can select the one I want to play, even all the way to track four. Hit my play button there. And I'll hook it up here in a second so you can kind of hear the sound quality of it. It's pretty good. But I wanted you to be able to see this display here. So you can see it's CD audio at uh, 1,411 kilobits per second, 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate. And I have my uh, stereo indicator there, ST, track four, and then you can see the, uh, the real-time display moving there. All right, so let's take a look at the actual playback quality as it plays through my little portable speaker here. I'm going to set my microphone right next to it so you can hear this thing whirring and making all kinds of funky noises. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see why this thing was such a number one bestseller and why you have three of them in your junk drawer in your house. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, this thing took almost a minute to recognize what kind of disc was in there and cue it up ready for playback. That's pretty bad. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play here, see what happens. I've got some uh, royalty-free music on here so I can kind of jam out on it with you here. It's still taking a little time to get queued up. Long delay between tracks. Once you get there, it sounds not too bad. It has a shuffle playback system, a repeat playback. 
you can set that up as well. Here's your shuffle button right here. Here's your repeat playback here. You can repeat and shuffle if you'd like. Again, I'm using the salsa setting and I've got a battery indicator right there telling me that my battery is like, uh, I guess it's registering as full because I've got the power adapter plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And when I do, you'll see it says battery check right there. And then it shows me that my battery is charging as well. So again, miracle of miracles that this thing being as old as it is, the battery holds a charge. It's pretty cool. Now we're going to party like it's 1999 as we look at the SLVP57 portable VCD player that was made in 1999. It plays all three of these disc formats that you see here. We have the Accent Health CNN Video CD from 2007. A little story behind that I'll tell you here shortly. It'll also play audio CDs like the 3-inch CDs you saw earlier. And it also plays CD plus graphic discs. So this is the ultimate portable powerhouse entertainment system, right? So what is the story behind this disc? Well, apparently Accent Health, which is a part of the CNN as we know it today, would send these players to doctor's offices and so forth. They would send the material on this and they would uh, connect it to a television and play the material in the waiting room. Now this might bring up a memory of yours from watching my channel where I showed you a laser disc that was the same thing. It had pre-programmed material on it and was sent to pediatrician offices, but it was the same deal. A television, a disc player, and media that was sent on a regular basis. As you see here, this one was sent in 7 of 2007. So apparently that's where this one came from because when it arrived, this disc was inside and this is a pressed disc. It is not a CDR disc. Okay. So I'll play you a little bit of that here shortly, but first let's look at the player itself and we'll see uh, the features that make this thing just awesome. So right here we have our controls right here on the front. We have our return, select, next, previous, and menu selector switch there. A stop button, which also pairs as a power off button. On the front, we have an eject control right here. Opens up the lid, has a sensor here on the left side, and that sensor is for a remote control, which I do not have. A volume control, which is paired with this headphone jack. It has a hold button. It has a wired remote connector uh, jack right there. On the back, we have the video out, which is composite video out, as well as stereo audio out and a DCN nine volt jack. And we have loud cars driving through my neighborhood. Here is your uh, date stamp, January of 1999. And you can see the little uh, spec plate there with the model number on it. This unit does operate on batteries. So you could pop some batteries in it and you'd be off and running. I believe it uses, well, it looks like it maybe uses four. No, it uses more than that. Look at that, six AA batteries as indicated right here on this side. Wow, takes a lot of power to make video, right? So again, uh, the unit is in really good condition and uh, these are fairly readily available on eBay. So if you get the, uh, the uh, urge to buy one and make your own video CDs, you can purchase one of these off of eBay, which is where I found mine. Also on my channel is a CD, a video CD recorder known as a Terrapin, just like the turtle. And uh, you can see that on my channel as a way to author your own video CDs in uh, just about the best quality possible for that format. So be sure and check that out. All right, let's see this one in action. The first disc I'm going to demonstrate for you is the Accent Health Video CD that was included with the unit. This unit does not have a memory buffer in it, so if I tap it, it messes up the playback. Hello from 
the CNN Center in Atlanta. Anna, I'm, I'm Dr. Sanjay, Sanjay Gupta. Gupta. I'm Robin Mead. You're watching Accent Health. Thanks for joining us. If you ask five women who've gone through menopause about their experiences, you're probably going to get five different answers. Now, some women will tell you, yeah, no big deal, mm -hmm. which is what all women hope for, obviously. But other women will tell you it was a very big deal. They, they talk about hot flashes. They talk about depression, even memory loss. The good news is there are treatment options out there that can help women going through menopause find that right balance. Mo see Pat Dodson living a charmed life. Her 60th birthday last year at her home, an old San Francisco speakeasy. Her life, a whirlwind of political campaigns. So again, we're watching MPEG-1 compressed video that is recorded on a regular compact disc. It does not require any special laser or any special playback system. It uses a regular CD player system inside to give you audio and video from a compact disc. So you can see why it was a very cheap method of uh, video distribution. So of course nowadays we have the internet, we have uh, satellite still in use in some places. So there's really no need to distribute video on discs. If I hit uh, play on this regular compact disc here, doesn't have any on-screen display for the music as it plays back, but it has really fast cueing, unlike the iMation. Showing the track number up there at the top. So that's kind of a neat disc, kind of a retro disc playing you 60s music on a compact disc. Let's take a look at this karaoke disc, which also queues up really fast on this unit. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Looks like I have to hit it twice to actually get it to go. And there's software out there that you can buy or maybe even download to create your own video CDs. And they have to be formatted a certain way. You can't just put MPEG-1 video onto a disc. You have to have it formatted for video CD. You're supposed to be singing right now. Are you singing along? Okay. Here's a close up of the green backlit display there with the pause initiated and look at this absolutely spectacular still that I get once I hit pause. So digital video, this particular format came along before DVD and those who experienced it, possibly on their CDI system, got to experience perfect digital stills and digital playback from compact discs or from discs uh, before everybody else did. But uh, that's a pretty cool thing. If you look over here on the iMation, you can see on the screen here that it says the charger has been removed. It's, it's actually quite angry at us at this point. Uh, well, guys, that pretty much sums up this video. Before I let you go, I'm going to put a Video Now disc in the video CD player and see what that does, just out of curiosity. But before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and for subscribing to the DataBits channel. Please check out my Facebook page. I've only got about 300 followers on Facebook, and I would love to have more because that's how I keep in touch with you guys throughout the week. And you can drop questions on there and look at pictures that I've posted. Uh, that is uh, the address of facebook.com forward slash the number one and data bits. So please subscribe to my channel, share this video with a friend, and also click that like button. We're going to go ahead and put that disc from Video Now in there just to see what it does. It's really not pleasant. That's why I wanted to do this at the end. And um, it may, in fact, may blow your speaker system on whatever kind of device you're watching this on now. So here it goes, guys. And again, I'll end with this. Again, this disc is read as a regular CD, 30 minutes. Here we go. There's track two, which I think is a menu. Ready for track three? Hang on.
Yeah. All right. There you go.